My background is in law. I graduated from law school in uh, Seattle, Washington, and uh, proceeded to a legal career. Uh, then I switched to mergers and acquisitions, and um, right shortly uh, after, I came across the medical billing. You know, when I got into this business of medical billing, I had uh, no idea of uh, what medical billing is about. I had no idea about healthcare industry. Uh, I've never came across uh, before, and uh, no uh, medical professionals ever been part of my life, so that was a totally new area for me. As a uh, part of my background, as I said, uh, I worked for a law firm as a contract attorney. We had to do extensive due diligence on our prospective clients and or on mergers and acquisitions candidates. And uh, when I was approached by my partner to go into medical billing, we had to find a solid, reputable company that provides with... Um, not only training, but most important, support after the training. And uh, it was an extensive uh, research that we've done, and we came up with a couple of names, and after uh, filtering these names, we came up with only one, and that was American Business Systems. And we've learned a lot about Patrick, the founder of the company, who changed our perspective, the vision, the view of the world and the mental uh, impression of all for which we uh, still always will be thankful to him. ABS gives you a toolbox and when you start opening that toolbox you see a lot of different tools. Uh, it's very important to sort which tool when should be used and one of the main tools is marketing. Strong, tremendous support, tremendous impression uh, made on doctors, the actual brochures that were given to us by ABS as part of the package. Beautiful, it just it shows that you are a true professional, that uh, those are professionally made, glossy, beautiful, put together, very nice wording, and uh, very concise, and doctors love them. And then one of the days we got a call from a doctor who had that brochure, that pamphlet, on his desk. Was that an incident or accident? We don't know. But that's how we got our first doctor. It took us about uh, one month. And we were so happy as if we won a million dollar lottery. And after that, it just started like a snowball. This doctor was so impressed with our work. Uh, he started referring other doctors, and slowly but surely we got to a point. Now, uh, three, four months after the training, we are at uh, about 15, 16 doctors. As I said, the first month uh, after the training, when we came back to New York, we were so enthusiastic, we were so fired up with all the energy, with all the tools, with all the... Uh, uh, so it all created one huge ambition, ambition to succeed. And now I think that what uh, dragged us through that whole month uh, of December. There were moments, uh, my partner has four kids, and I have two kids, and my wife is pregnant, and then at that point when we were sitting here and spending 24 hours a day brainstorming uh, how to succeed, how to attract the first doctor, and how at some point we were, th we were just we were ready to give up. We were ready to give up because that was, to us, it seemed like it's all, it's all a dream, and that dream will never come true. And um, all of a sudden we get a call from a doctor. That crucial moment, at that very moment, when we were ready to break, we get a call from a doctor who is asking, I want to know more. But he called in response to one of the pamphlets that we dropped by his office. He calls to find out more about our services. Now, we actually met with him. We gave him a presentation. He liked it. And he said, 
if I had another office, I would definitely retain your services. At this point, I'm so small, I can do it myself. And this doctor maybe had uh, 20 or 30 patients a month. So that's nothing. But these little words of his saying that if I had a second office, and then Ari, my partner, right away, are you planning to have a second office? He says, yes. And that was enough. A glimpse of hope. So we, we decided, no matter what it takes, we're going to sit and wait until he gets a second office. And then, surely, we will get his business. Now, three, four months after, he actually calls us and says, guys, I just opened a second office. I want to, to be my uh, billers. But at that crucial moment, uh, that's how important it is sometimes, a word of support. And people of ABS at that time, they were just tremendous support, tremendous help. Because of them, we didn't give up. We were at the, at the, on the verge. We were. Difficult. It's, it's not easy. Nobody says it's easy. But once you get into this, one doctor refers another, and another doctor refers another two, two refer, and so it's like a snowball. It's difficult to say. It's difficult to say. You have to use all of them. It's like you're throwing seeds into the field, and something will come out. Everything works, but w so let's say we, we use seven, eight, nine, ten different things that were given to us by ABS. One of those things by itself, isolated from everything else, would not work. So, in other words, one complements another. They all work in conjunction with each other. You have to have a website. You have to have a support line. You have to know how to speak. You have to uh, throw out those pamphlets. You have to give the flyers out. Uh, postcards, everything. Letters designed. So it just creates that uh, marketing campaign that eventually, eventually gives the fruits. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, Nothing right? It's just, it's just perfect. Well, it, all it takes is just the right mental approach, something that uh, ABS teaches you. You can get the best tools over there, but you will never get to the point from point A to point B. You don't have the right mental approach. You have to program yourself. You have to keep saying to yourself, I'll be successful. I'll get the doctor. I'll get this doctor. Eventually, it will happen. It will happen. You have to be patient. Sometimes, again, as I said, uh, during that month, first month, uh, I thought to myself, uh, we won't be able to do that. That is the, probably the only thing that I would change. I wouldn't tell myself those negative things. Because, uh, well, human beings, nobody's perfect, and we have our impatience. And again, kids at home, and wives, and families, and you're under constant pressure, you don't know what the future is. And then, Boom, it happens. But uh, to change, I would do it over again absolutely the same way.